Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss how to use Soft Console Embedded Software Development IDE to do debugging on an embedded design that is using Microchip's My5 RISC-V based processing cores. My5 cores are Microchip soft processor cores based on the fifth generation of RISC architecture. My5 cores are based on RISC-V open source instruction sets and can be migrated from platform to platform. They support all latest of Microchip's flash-based FPGAs. Soft Console is a free open source embedded software development and debug tool supporting all Microchip's SOC FPGAs and soft 32-bit CPU cores. It is a GNU-based tool using NewLib and NewLib Nano C libraries for resource-constrained designs. It includes OpenOCD for debugging from various memories such as embedded SRAM, ENVM, and external DDR. While outside the scope of this video, it is worth pointing out that Ant Micro Reno emulation models allow software development and debugging even where no hardware target is available. And last but not least, Soft Console Tool supports both Windows and Linux operating systems. RISC-V core instruction sets provide a variety of extensions suitable for various applications. Currently, Microchip offers four variations of the My5 cores utilizing a combination of five different extensions. The RV32 IMC core is the latest addition to our cores. It is designed for area-sensitive applications and is based on compressed instruction set. It doesn't have L1 cache but provides support for tightly coupled memories or TCMs. Core JTAG Debug is a soft core that facilitates the connection of a JTAG-based debugger to the My5 core for debugging purposes. Users can run their soft console IDE in debug mode and connect via Flash Pro through JTAG header to the target My5 processor inside the FPGA and debug their application software code. In this slide, I'm showing the basic architecture of My5 processor based design. We will be using this design in our demo as well. A typical My5 core design consists of five main functions. First, clocking and reset architecture. Depending on the target FPGA and user application, the clock and reset signals can be provided from different resources. This block is the debug circuitry, in this case Core JTAG Debug. It connects the FPGA JTAG pins to the processor. And here's the My5 processor core itself and the memory system containing My5 instructions. This memory can be Im implemented in variety of memory types, such as FPGA SRAM blocks or an external DDR memory. And finally, the peripherals of the design that are connected to the My5 core. When debugging My5 core, the application code is transferred from the hardware through JTAG to My5 core and written into the instruction memory. Subsequently, the code is executed and debugged from the memory. Now we're going to provide a short demo on debugging My5 application code over JTAG. Our demo is using Soft Console Revision 6.0. Okay, here is my example Soft Console project done in Soft Console 6.0 with my main.c that I'm showing here. Uh, let me go ahead and create a new debug session with debug configuration. I'm using GDB OpenOCD. Uh, create new. All right, I'm creating a new project. Uh, my project name shows up in the application code, so we're good to go. We can start debugging now. All right. Once the application is launched in debug mode and connects to the hardware, it will stop at the first line of the application. From there, you can resume execution, you can step into a function, or you can step over a function. You can set up breakpoints. You can see the breakpoints. You can enable, disable them. You can have memory view where you can set a memory space in your design and view its contents and even alter them. You can resume execution till you stop at your breakpoints. And by doing all these actions, you can debug your code and make sure that it's properly interacting with the FPGA hardware that it's connecting to. Once completing debug, you can simply go ahead and terminate and remove your debug section, which in fact will cause the soft console to detach from the hardware. In summary, when developing designs with My5 cores, users can rely on efficiently and thoroughly debugging their application code on hardware, just like other CPU and microcontrollers. For more information on My5 cores, development tools, and other resources, please refer to the following locations on our website. This concludes the presentation and demo on debugging a My5 processor core. Thank you for watching this video.